covered the headlines that the world, according to some, was supposed to end last night this time. And tonight, for those true believers who were looking forward to heaven, the absence of disaster, well, it's now the disaster. And so Ron Claiborne has the story of one man who spent nearly all of his money to warn of that impending disaster. And Ron asks him, how does he now explain himself? At 6 p.m., Robert Fitzpatrick looked at his watch, waited, and nothing happened. As some in the crowd jeered, Fitzpatrick looked stunned. I don't understand what happened. This is the year. All the calculations indicate this is the year. Those calculations were made by this man, radio evangelist Harold Camping, who claimed he had unlocked secrets written in code in the Bible. I am utterly, absolutely, absolutely convinced it is going to happen. Today, a spokesman for Camping said he is home in seclusion, and according to Camping's wife, he's mystified that his doomsday prediction did not come true. Meanwhile, the Internet was brimming with mockery of Camping and his followers, some posting photos of empty clothes, ridiculing the rapture that was supposed to have occurred on doomsday when a select few Christians would ascend to heaven leaving their clothing behind. Never expected to see that. Fitzpatrick, who had thought he'd be spending his first day in heaven, was back in his New York City home, watering his plants, reading his Bible. Part of me was excited with anticipation for what I hoped would be coming for me, and part of me was in dread of what would be coming for those who are not saved. Fitzpatrick, a retired transit worker, spent most of his savings, $140,000, on posters warning of the apocalypse. He says he'll leave them up. The warning on those signs is still valid. Judgment Day is coming. And so Ron Claiborne's with us now. He's lost nearly all of his money, and uh -huh. yet you were telling me he's now simply pushed off the date? Well, you saw there he was clearly shaken that doomsday, the judgment day did not occur yesterday. He went home, he thought about it some more. Now he says his faith is restored as strong as it ever was, and he believes that this will happen. It didn't happen yesterday, but will happen this year. He fervently believes it will happen in 2011. All right, Ron Claiborne with us tonight. Ron, thanks for asking the tough questions.